what is up everybody we have the secret sauce for you right here nature born with special test with some mage and then a giant as well this deck is so strong it is so hidden op and i have found it after testing millions of different decks inside of this current meta and now i'm going to be sharing this deck with each and every single one of you as it is a super strong deck then it is going to pick you up victories inside of clash mini all right round number one he's going to be going with an elixir collector it is very very good here that i put down all of the minis that i had the giant and the decoy adept is our optimal snart start and the reason why it is so good is mainly because the decoy adept is going to be playing the front lines no matter what so there really isn't uh, a, a bad play for him as long as you put him somewhere in the front with the giant the giant is also going to be out here the giant is going to slowly rack up hp as this match goes on and we are going to be getting down our inferno ward and the inferno warden is only going to get off one super not really worried about that i'm just going to kind of just keep it like right here almost uh, just trying to get off the super as fast as possible. Also, there is a uh, healing tile, so I want to make sure that we clear him out. I know I'm only going to get off one super before the executioner clears out my Inferno Warden, so I'm not really too worried or too concerned about that. We also have the Decoy Adept that we can juice up as well, but we are looking very, very good here as we clear out uh, two things. We are potentially going to lose this Nature Born. Really depends on if my Nature goes over to his uh, executioner or not which it does very very good value for us here we are gonna lose though in round number two okay so round number two uh it kind of hurt i'm not gonna lie that loss kind of hurt just a little bit we do have a pekka here that can be played we are going to also put down my uh, decoy adept i don't really want to put down my apprentice monk just yet as we are going to re-roll for a pekka and we are going to upgrade that next round i really want to upgrade my nature born nature born really needs to be the answer if i'm going to be victorious we did get two good heal tiles here with my mini so that is going to be very very nice as we are going to have our pekka healed up pekka is going to go after the executioner going to clear out the executioner no big deal here and we are going to win round number three all right round number four there's two things that i want to do here the first thing is i do want to juice up my minis as far as damage is concerned but at the same time i also could go with plus one attack damage and plus 15 percent attack speed and the reason why i'm going to do this is is because i care about healing my minis as fast as possible we also are going to be putting down our apprentice monk i guess right here there's really no uh great play for him so we're just gonna put him right here you know what i'm gonna put him right here just in case he tries to do something crazy with a hog rider on this tile all right so that's what he does he has an apprentice monk we are going to be getting some juice here with our apprentice monk as well we are clearing out a lot with our pekka we knew that we really weren't going to be able to pick up too much here but our nature born is still alive nature born is continuing to heal everything nature born still alive that's really all that matters as long as we can clear that out and that's gonna be a gg here in game number one nature born clutching up versus a battle machine Machine player all right here we go game number two versus a count desk player we're going to be putting down our giant in the front lines and we are going to be reading it up okay so this is kind of interesting it's one of those matchups that is going to determine or should i say be dependent on my inferno warden getting down in the right spots and it's going to also be determined by if my inferno warden can carry me by clearing out his count desk early he's already shown me he's going with the first star upgrade on it to the countess here so we don't really need to worry about that too much going forward as we do have the answers for that we are going to be able to get out our pekka here we also are going to be able to get out our nature born and we are going to be readying it up here we don't really need to do too much more as we know that our pekka with our nature born hopefully will be enough to be able to clear him out here as we are going to be doing a lot with our pekka gonna get a lot of damage here with 
in there with Nijaborn as well. Nijaborn just needs to start stacking up, doing a little bit of damage, but it's not going to be enough here. But can we clear him out? That is the question. He does have the anti-heal on me, but we do have the deer form trying to clear him out, and it's not going to be enough. All right, round number two going over to him as well. And now we're in a awkward spot as we need to find a way to win well the how to find a way to win is upgrade pretty much what we need to do here we're going to be upgrading our pekka we're going to be getting down our inferno warden which means our nature born is going to start doing a lot of damage the more damage my nature born does the better and the more successful we will be in this match we are going to clear out this uh, countess and now we're in a very very good spot the inferno warden really took care of us and was able to pick up a victory here for us in round number three i think he is going to be going with a minor here so i could do one of two things the first thing i'm going to do is is definitely put my um minis like so as i don't really got to worry about too much here I really, really, really want to just do this. It could backfire on me, but we're going to do this anyway. Ah, oh, man. No, we're not going to do this. We're just going to upgrade our P.E.K.K.A. here and ready it up. The next round, after we see where... I don't think he has a minor because he already has the four rogue. So I'm not really too worried about that. I think we're in a good position here. I think we really don't need to worry about too much. And I think we are going to clear out his Countess. We are going to go over to his Headhunter. And now we have some decisions to make. Do we want to upgrade this Inferno Warden to last for six seconds? If we upgrade the Inferno Warden, I think that will allow us to easily win this match. And I think that's what we're going to do here. We're going to upgrade the Inferno Warden. We're going to get down a Apprentice Monk over here just in case he has a Miner, which he might have. This will 100% stop the Miner. Will be able to save me from that if that does happen. He does not. He has an Apprentice Monk. So there's going to be Apprentice Monk versus a Apprentice Monk here. He actually had the six seconds, but it doesn't matter. We have Special Tist. And there goes his entire army. And that's going to be a Game 2 victory for us. All right, here we go. Game number three versus a Royal Champion player once again. Oh, man. Man, this is going to be tough. I can't get down my giant. Oh, no, we're going to roll for the giant. I don't even care. Rolling for the giant. Was it the right decision? Well, we're going to find out if we can get back to a nature born. It's always really risky not playing your hero right off of the bat like that, but that's okay. We are going to hopefully be able to get back to the nature born and be able to win this match because of that. He does have the um, revival on to the chompy we got to just make sure we continue to heal up our giant giant's gonna clear that out we got to make sure we clear out this royal champion and we do good victory there in round number one and now we are looking super nice super pretty everything is looking as uh perfect as you can be so now what do i want to do well i'm gonna get down a Inferno Warden here is the best spot. No, is it the worst spot? No. Um, Inferno Warden's gonna be right here. We'll put it there. We'll ready it up. It's kind of one of those like ah oh, awkward positions. It's okay though. This is actually going to work out greatly for us here as Inferno Warden has to start clearing out some things. Chompy is going to take a lot of damage here. There it is. All right. So that's some good value for us versus the Chompy. We're going to get healing on to the giant as we just need to stall. The longer the giant stays alive, the more the Inferno Warden can carry us to victory, which is exactly what happened right here. Next up, we are going to get down our P.E.K.K.A. Um, P.E.K.K.A.'s got to go right here so it avoids this. Um, we also can go with an upgrade on the Inferno Warden. Why not? I think that's going to be a very good decision uh, in this matchup as we are going to be able to do a lot more damage with the Inferno Warden. He's going to throw a Hog Rider here on the right side. He's getting value here to start, but guess what? The thing that he's going to have to really uh, be concerned about more than anything is 
we have the answers for him and that's going to be in the apprentice monk the apprentice monk is going to silence down this hog rider and it's going to be clean sailing from here on out for us he's dropped all of his minis so he can't really do anything crazy we're going to put this over here with the apprentice monk that's really all we need to do i want to re-roll i want to get down the decoy adept as well and i also kind of want to re-roll for my nature born but i know that might be very difficult to get so i'm just going to be upgrading my pekka here and readying it up is this great no is this bad no but we do need to get our nature born in the next round if it does go that long we are going to stop this hog rider and that's really the main concern that i had in this matchup choppy will fall which is nice we are also going to clear out the hog rider and all those skeletons got to be able to clear out that very nice we do have the giant and the giant is very very healthy we do have the inferno warden that could clear him out as long as we get the inferno warden to super up there it is inferno warden is gonna clear him out and that's gonna be a gg right there